Taurus, welcome to this just-in-time tarot reading. And if you are watching this, Taurus, trust that there is a message here for you. And that message begins with luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Now, new moon energy is about new beginnings. It's something that maybe you're wanting to start. It's something that's in its early stages. And it says that luck is on your side. So it feels like there is a you know, a universal blessing here for you, or maybe, you know, a feeling wheel of fortune energy, maybe things are about to turn around here. Maybe an opportunity is about to land. Maybe you've met someone. Higher thought. Yeah, there's an intuition as well, or angel spirits guides are really giving you signs that maybe it's time to, to begin that path and move towards this. Yeah, it's unknown there. We can't see, you know, fully what waits, but what we can see is that sun energy, which is associated with positivity and a bright future and overcoming obstacles and challenges. And yes, there might be a journey, you know, ahead of you. Uh, there, there is always, you know, challenges in any journey, but, you know, as long as it is heading in a positive direction and those challenges are all here to help you grow and evolve. So let's go to the tarot and see what this is about. Our first energy, Taurus, is the King of Wands. You may be dealing with a Leo. Uh, the King of Wands can be a Leo energy. Uh, it could be somebody who's in a position of authority here, okay? This could be around somebody in work career offering you an opportunity or you leveling up into some kind of leadership position here. Uh, again, in terms of love or romance, you might be meeting a fire sign here, uh, somebody who is really drawing you in. There's a lot of energy here is what I'm feeling. You might also be, be being asked to take on the energy of the King of Wands, which would be somebody who is discerning, somebody who's in the pursuit of passion, the Wands energy, and is getting ready to, to follow the call of the heart. Right, well, what else? Ooh, the Hierophant, Taurus, that is your card here. So I'm also feeling like you need to make a move here. Like when your major arcana comes out, it's like the decision is yours, the move is yours, checkmate, okay? Uh, the Hierophant is also around commitments. You know, it can be contracts, uh, employment contracts. It could be a, a higher commitment, you know, a relationship going to the next stage. It feels like, you know, there is an important point of change here and around a commitment or to enter into a commitment here and luck is on your side. Now the Hierophant can be around those big traditional settings in your life. It's asking you just to ensure that it is in alignment for you. But you know, it is a beautiful energy. It's also the energy of the spiritual teacher. So it feels like this will, you know, teach you some lesson lessons that will help you grow and a strength card coming through. That's our second count of Leo energy coming in. And it's saying, yes, it might require some strength, courage, or bravery to move forward with this Taurus, but the person who, you know, really takes the, the path of, of courage and determination is usually well rewarded. Now, there might be a lot of resistance or inner fears coming up at this time. They are our inner beasts that we need to soothe under control to really hear the call of the higher self, the higher thoughts, because your intuition or your angel spirits guides are trying to lead you, okay? So the strength card is saying, yes, have the strength and courage to make that decision to move forward towards that new beginning. Because luck is on your side and ten of pentacles. This can really, really go places, okay? If it's a relationship, it's ascending into the maybe, uh, you know, you could be my, my one, my person. We could move in together. You could retire together. You could be getting married. You could be buying property together. In work or career, this feels like it can take you towards abundance. It can also help you really set up for a secure future as well. It could be that... This feels a little bit out of your reach, out of your comfort zone at the moment, and you're really needing to, to level up as that king of wands, like step into your power, your authority, your leadership. You know, the universe decides when you're ready, you know, and you might think, oh, I can't rise to that challenge, but well, you know, luck is on your side, and it feels like, you know, it is the right timing for this.
the four of swords is here so this is an energy of of patience like there might be something that you're needing to wait um, to fall in place here sometimes the four of swords is like you're waiting for that breakthrough or that victory you might be asking waiting for an answer here so that you can move forward with something okay it can be just that there's a little bit of a pause here but remember luck is on your side and it feels like soon you will be able to move forward king of cups is also here and it's a scorpio energy so there could even be you know two choices two people two pathways here for some of you um, the King of Cups is also asking you to really stay emotionally grounded and be discerning as you make this decision. It is also the energy of heart, emotions, and intuition. So it's saying follow your heart, okay? The Leo energy, have the courage to follow your heart, right? And it feels like this can ascend to some kind of higher commitment that can set you up in some way. Luck is on your side. You might need to sever ties, Three of Swords, with one of these options or one of these parties. Maybe that is why you're looking for a plan here on how to move forward. But it feels with that Four of Swords that if you take a pause, take a moment, that that will come through in the form of higher thought to guide you. Taurus, that's what I have. I hope that gave you some clarity, guidance, and insight. If you'd like a personal reading, please do follow the first link down below to my website to check those out. Come across to Instagram for daily readings, and I do pull cards for followers from time to time. You'll need to be there, be a follower, and be checking my story for when I put the shout out. I am going to be doing that very soon, just to let you know. I'm wishing you all the best with this energy, Taurus. Bye for now.